हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द वेब इंजीनियरिंग लेक्चर सीरीज एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द सर्वर टैक्चिट आर्किटेक्चर इन डिटेल इन द फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ जावा सर्वलेट्स वी हैव सीन दैट वेन एवर अ रिक्वेस्ट इज कमिंग फ्रॉम द वेब ब्राउजर सर्वलेट्स एक्ट्स एज द मिडल लेयर बिटवीन द एच सर्वर एंड द डाटा बेस विच इज होस्टेड ऑन द वेब एप्लीकेशन नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सी इन डिटेल दैट हाउ द सर्वलेट प्रोग्राम्स आर वर्किंग from the inside so now we will create a servlet architecture and then we will discuss so this is your web server suppose this is the web server and that web server is calling the servlet container which is your servlet part so this is the servlet container and in the life cycle of servlet we have seen three different methods that are present in the servlet the first method is the init method second method is your service method and last is your destroy method so that is the servlet now whenever a servlet container calls the servlet a thread is created now this is important what happens in cgi is for every request in cgi a different process of cgi is created that is the overburden on the server but in the servlet for one session if there are multiple requests then a single process is created and inside that process different threads are created since threads are lightweighted and fast in communication it creates lots of resources of the server that is important you have to note that in servlet for different request different processes are not created instead different threads are created for each request so here we are going to create for each request a thread that is suppose thread a and these threads will call the service method suppose this is your thread b so this will again call the service method and then service method depending on the request type of the http calls further do get or do post method and these the init and destroy methods are directly called by the servlet container first the servlet container will initialize that will create the servlet and for each request the thread is created which is calling the service method of the servlet created by the init method and when the servlet needs to be destroy the servlet container will call the destroy method so that is how the servlet works this is the architecture of the servlet thank you for watching the video please subscribe to my youtube channel for more tutorials on servlet and other subjects thank you